Hello everyone, I am Mohammed Sabra Khan and I am your tutor for this course and my topic is introduction to transmission media. So what is basically it is? As you can see in this picture there is a world and, uh, and these are uh, wires you can say by which uh, the world is connected so we are studying about it so let's start. So basically what we are seeing is what's what is forward? Establishment of an enterprise network requires a fundamental understanding of general networking concepts. These concepts include knowledge of what defines a network as well as the general standards of technology and physical components that are used to establish uh, enterprise networks. An understanding of the underlying network communication and the impact that that such behavior has on the network is also part among to in ensuring performance effective implementation. Next, we see objectives. In objectives, upon completion of this session, trainers will be able to. Is explain what constitutes a network. Identify the basic components of a network. Describe the primary me primary mechanism for communication over a network. So first, we have seen the simple point-to-point -point Ethernet network. So what is Ethernet network? Uh, networks are comprised of at least two end stations and a media over which data can get it. So here is a picture. You can see there is one system, there is two systems, there are two systems, they are connected with this physical medium and this physical medium uh, is of uh, uh, many types like wireless and like cable in which uh, internet and uh, that coaxial wires also come and number three the fiber optics can also come through uh, by which these two uh, uh, systems can transmit the information to each other in which the, uh, for applicable uh, if we can see in this uh, case that is cost uh, distance and transmission capability was also notified uh, for this so first we see and understand what is coaxial uh, cable is so it is made up of copper coaxial cable uh, which is a copper wire uh, cable basically uh, commonly used to supply users as a part of sharing in networks uh, for network users so it is of two types one is uh, you can see their standards 10b uh, base, uh, base 2 and second is 10 base uh, 5 uh, and this uh, 10 base 2 is of thin uh, coxil which, which have maximum transmit of 185 meters uh, long it can transmit and uh, uh, information on networks uh, and uh, 10 b 5 is a thick which uh, you can see this uh, as it, uh, it can uh, 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 move about 500 uh, meter distance the information so in the uh, left hand side you can see a uh, thin coaxial uh, cable and on the right side there is thick uh, coaxial table uh, cable so next uh, we move towards uh, ethernet so basically what ethernet is uh, in ethernet uh, there is a uh, this is a fast net uh, net Work and a primary physical medium used to uh, enterprise in network so there the, and its standards are as shown below the 10 B uh, T now you are thinking what is T T is mean twists like you see in this uh, uh, cable there are twists these twists are twists are basically uh, represented by T and uh, uh, the physical media are two uh, pairs of uh, Categories 3, 4, 5 twist uh, pair cables uh, which have a distance of 10 meters. You can see there, there are 1, 2, 3, they can be increased. So there's 3, 4, and 5. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 
so basically the uh, the 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 minimum three, the maximum five. We can see this twist can be in uh, in a one cable. As you can see, this is a uh, this is a wire, and these are uh, five uh, maximum uh, uh, these twists. These cables are twisted, and wires are there, so it is used for this communication networks. So I do understand BC uh, TX. Uh, it is of two pairs, and uh, these are the types, and it's categorized of five twist uh, pair. In this uh, cable, there are there are there. Are, this is made up of uh, five twists, and one uh, one thousand BST uh, twist. Uh, four pair of um, uh, categories of five e twist pair uh, cable and it, it's and basically this uh, these all three cables uh, have transmit the information about hundred uh, meters. Now we have a, c a serial. What is serial? Serial uh, is uh, uh, this uh, cable uh, you are seeing is. Uh, uh, old cable and uh, uh, in a uh, TV uh, in uh, uh, past time in 1980s it was used uh, for uh, communication purpose and its standard is RS232 with standard form defined as up to 20,000 BPS but can reach about 1 M uh, mega bit per second. Uh, and uh, RS42 which is 100 kbs and it reached uh, 10 m kb per, per second which is on the right side so basically this is uh, in the past it was used in a transmission requirement but not it is, no, it is not used uh, largely and now this is fiber optics this is a uh, fiber optics and its speed is uh, about uh, uh, the as we know the speed of light and its transmission is uh, very much high and uh, this uh, and now uh, as previously you can see uh, we have here uh, red then basically T V mean twist and here this F mean fiber optics uh, with 10 uh, F is fiber optics and it uh, comprises of this uh, uh, two, uh, two standard fiber and its distance is 200 meters and this F X it's large and it's also standard is 2 meter per 5 and it reaches about 200 meters there are 2000 meters and uh, 1000 bs lx is a single model fiber or multiple uh, model fiber and it reaches from 316 to 500 meters uh, and uh, 1000 bs uh, sx uh, multiple model uh, fiber and it reaches to 275 to 500 meters so it is uh, based on the speed of light it is largely used uh, in nowadays uh, and now we reach towards the single data uh, in encoding so what is basically it is so single pattern used for interpretation of com communication in encoding is used to synchronize transmission so basically what we are seeing here there is one system there is two system and how it is communicating there is one you can see one zero one zero one zero what it is basically one means high voltage zero means low voltage so here is high voltage here is low voltage high voltage low voltage high voltage low voltage so this is how this uh, transmission and the packet of energy a uh, packet of this transmission move from um, 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 right hand side towards left hand side and from left hand side to the right hand side and in uh, below the uh, in the form of binary uh, numbers so 000 uh, in this uh, we, we is considered as 0001 means 1 and 0, uh, 0010 means 2 number and 001 uh, means 3 number and 0100 means 4 number so this uh, this uh, indicating this communication over here how it is transmitting in this media so and the next is uh, collision uh, do domains and how uh, basically single and uh, shared networks are subscri subscribed to uh, to collisions a collision reduction uh, mechanism is used to identify collision so this is one two three four basically you can say it a b c d uh, kind of a system and they, uh, there is a communication between them but the problem is that this wire is of ether, uh, ethernet and this uh, wire 
at at one time there is only one transmission when they when there is one uh, uh, communication is going on the, the uh, like this there is a a b c d so when a and b is talking the c and d can't uh, communicate so uh, they, they, there is a problem in this issue so uh, in this wireless if the, if this is if this is a wireless then there is a different case but the, as it is an internet case there is a, at one time the the wire uh, when the communication is going on so the this wire is reserved and the communication cannot be passed uh, unless until when when two uh, systems will uh, will stop communication so the c and d can communicate and after that so there is a, so this is a client you can see uh, in this picture now uh, in this uh, duplex uh, mods uh, we can see there is a uh, half duplex and there is a full duplex in, in half duplex what happened there is a for example this is a sender side and this is a receiver side so at at one uh, at one time the sender on can uh, can uh, share communication to the receiver side and uh, at, at that moment receiver can't send uh, to the sender the information after sending here the receiver at one time can send a message communication uh, packet of energy to the sender side so there is a issue in this uh, so there is a uh, in, in half duplex one communication at one time from sender side and receiver side but in the full duplex there is a simultaneous communication going on from sender side and receiver uh, end uh, so uh, so you can see these both arrows are uh, 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 can communicate uh, simultaneously without breaking the communication so this is how this uh, introduction of transmission communication uh, me media was uh, ended and hope you like uh, and understand uh, the presentation thank you all for watching my presentation stay blessed and good luck to you all my um, students